Dave, it has certainly been fascinating to watch the flow of the water throughout the purification plant. And I know that the water is coming in. And John, I know we spoke about this a little earlier, but the flock has arrived. We are now able to see the flock and all of the flocking, coagulation and things like that. Dave, you brought Kelly back with us. What is going on up here? Well, we, as we saw earlier in the flash mix, the chemicals have been introduced to the raw water. And so a lot of things are happening. And I think the best person with the technical details of that would be Kelly. So Kelly, we've got a lot of water here. What's going on in terms of the filtration process? Okay. The water, as it left the flash mix, as Dave mentioned, the chemicals were introduced. And then it hits this first stage. Uh, we call it flocculation. That's where the flock has already started to develop. And we have three different stages. And through each stage, there's mixers that gently mix it. They rapidly mix it, and then they slowly get slower and slower, so they don't actually shear off the flock itself, because we're trying to make it as large as possible. After it leaves the flocculation basin, it is then introduced into the sedimentation basin. And the sedimentation basin is where most of the flock particulates settle out, collected with sludge collectors, um, and that's how they are pulled from the basin to keep the basin from getting plugged up with all the fallen flock. And after the sedimentation basin, we hit the settled water channel. At that point, we introduce our sodium hypochlorite, and that's our primary disinfectant. Right after the settled water channel comes around to our six filters. Our filters basically are dual media. They have uh, anthracite on the top, and they have silica sand on the bottom. And each train, uh, this is a treatment train A, there's another treatment train B, it has six total filters. They're bifurcated. So they're split in half. And so that allows enough of the filtration process where the water can actually be considered safe to drink. So we're on the way to the water getting to the homes and the, the customers here in Kern County. Where does it go after these processes? After filtration, uh, we have storage facilities on site. We call them clear wells. We have uh, one four and a half million gallon facility. And then we have another two facilities that are 3.2 million gallons. So we have a total of about 11 million gallons of storage on site. All right, so we're with Kelly and uh, she's going to explain with us the three different types of media that uh, go along with the filtration process. Okay, um, first of all, as I explained earlier, these are dual media filters. That mainly consists of the anthracite, silica sand, and then a small amount of gravel is used for support. First of all, this train B has deep filter beds, two and a half feet of anthracite, and then directly underneath that is one foot of the silica sand, and then directly under that is actually our filter under drain nozzle system. And to support that nozzle system is the gravel. There's approximately a foot of gravel down in between those nozzles. And so actually water is filtered down through this media. And then once we have either a certain amount of hours on our filters or a certain amount of turbidity, then the operator makes the determination to backwash the filter. And so this media not only withstands water coming down through it, uh, like via gravity, it also can withstand a backwash of approximately uh, 10,000 gallons per minute coming back up through to uh, wash all the stuff that is collected on top of the filter, it washes it off and takes it out to a waste pond. Interesting. So after the water travels through the different types of media and through the filtration process, then it's ready to drink, right? Yes. At this point, the sodium hypochlorite, which is our disinfectant, has been added. It then enters the clear wells where it actually have a certain amount of contact time. And there you have it. That's it. The water traveling through the filtration system from the basin all the way through the plant, and now it's ready to drink. And are you able to remotely control the chemicals from here? Everything is remotely controlled. We can do everything from this station you see right here.